Pixar. 24 movies in. You've done it again. Luca is the newest film from Pixar. Sadly, did not make it to theaters. It ended up dropping to Disney Plus, much like So Was. Really wanted to see it on the big screen, but whatever. Got to see this film on Disney Plus recently. This movie involves a young boy named Luca, who is a sea monster. His best friend is another sea monster named Alberto. They bond really well. We find out in this movie that even though these characters are sea monsters, when they appear on dry land, they actually can disguise themselves as humans. And so our curious two young sea monster boys decide to go out into an Italian village named Porto Rosso. I get what you did there. Clearly fans of Studio Ghibli. And want to learn more about the human world. There's a young girl that's also in the movie as well who bonds with our two main characters. And it's actually a very small scale story. It's not as big as some of Disney's other films like The Incredibles. It's not as imaginative or creative and world building like Toy Story or Inside Out. This is a simple coming of age story. There's fantastical elements in this film, yes, with sea monsters. But this is mainly a coming of age story about our two main characters and learning their place in this world. And I really enjoyed the movie because of that. I've seen different responses of Luca, people saying it's not a good film. I've seen some online rave that Pixar has lost their touch because the scale of this is too small. And I don't get it because I honestly really dug this film. It's another great film from Pixar. Yes, it's smaller scale, but that doesn't mean it's a bad thing because the quality and the ingredients that are in the film are so good. This movie is beautifully animated as to be expected. I love the Italian landscape in the film. And even the character designs are very unique. They're a little bit more expressive and cartoonish compared to some of Pixar's other character designs, which are a little more photorealistic. But it fits within the world within this movie. I do enjoy the friendship between Luca and Alberto. I thought it was so genuine. And it's one of my favorite friendships I've seen come to life in any Pixar film. And just the heart and the charm and the innocence of this film, the wholesomeness of this film. It reminded me a lot of some of Studio Ghibli's films, like My Neighbor Totoro or Kiki's Delivery Service. This felt like Pixar doing a Studio Ghibli-esque film. Some of their simple, easy-going watches, it's light on stakes, more so on the heart and characters than anything else. And I can easily respect that as a hardcore animation fan. I guess some people don't get that. I guess some people want their animated films just to be big and loud. And that's not a bad thing, as The Incredibles is still my favorite Pixar movie. But Luca had so much heart going for it. I really dug this movie. And it ended up making my top 15 Pixar films after watching the film and rating it and ranking it with the other Pixar films. I'm not doing an updated Pixar list at this time. You can look at my last Pixar ranking when Soul came out back in December. I'll probably do another Pixar ranking in the next year or so. If you're into these small, light-hearted, coming-of-age films, who you just want something light that just cheers you up with just enough characters in it, that builds up the story. I think Luca is going to be the film for you. If you're a fan of Studio Ghibli films, this movie is a must watch. It felt like a reincarnated Studio Ghibli film. And as someone who's a fan of Ghibli, Luca was a great love letter. And I really love this movie for that. It is an excellent film. Check it out on Disney+. Plus. And I'll be giving the film a 5 out of 5 stars, and on the 100 point scale, it's getting a 94 out of 100. <laughs>